if there was a button I could press to stop all hydrocarbon usage today, I would not press it. You would not press of it? Of course not. Okay. Did you expect him to say that? What kind of a threat do you think you are to the oil and gas industry? Well, I don't think we're much of a threat. I mean, yet. Yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, um, I, I mean, yeah, the, 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 the more obvious threat is that we're going to run out of uh, hydrocarbons to mine and burn. That, that's rather obvious. I mean, uh, it's but not a, it's no a, time soon, judging from the comments we've had this morning. So it's, it's getting harder and harder to find uh, hydrocarbons, and it's getting much more expensive to extract them. Um, and r really, we're just arguing about the when uh, hydrocarbons run out or become prohibitively expensive, not if. I, mean, I don't think there's, there's anyone here who would say there's a it's an if, not a word. I mean, you are, you know, a tech guy, right? You're a physicist and an engineer. You call yourself the chief architect of yeah, I think yes. a few things from You don't sort of think that human standpoint. ingenuity and technology and resource flows will mean that we will still have abundant fossil fuels no, available? Not. I mean, this has been going on for some <laughs> time. They think you've reached the boundaries, and yet they find more. And you know, look at the whole shale gas revolution. There, there are time extensions on the game, but the game is going to come to an end. That should be absolutely certain, obviously. Right? The, the, um, I'm, I'm, I, I don't have any, I don't have any fundamental dislike of, of hydrocarbons. Um, I simply look at, at the future and say, what is the thing that will actually work? Um, it, and using a non-renewable resource, um, obviously, will not work. So we must find an alternative. But if, if, I, if, if there was a button I could press to stop all hydrocarbon usage today, I would not press it. You would not press it? Of course it. not. You would not it press would, it, it would because... It would cause human civilization to come to a halt. Every hospital would have to close that. It would be ridiculous. Right? So it would be irresponsible to press that button. Um, but w w what, what does need to happen is to, if we can, accelerate the transition towards renewables. That's the sensible thing to do. Um, and, um, you know, if you take, a, say, a, I mean, used maybe two examples, uh, Saudi Arabia, since the Saudi Aramco uh, president spoke here. The, uh, Saudi Arabia has an enormous amount of sunlight, and that, that, that will be there for billions of years, or well, at least one billion years until the sun eventually engulfs us, but a billion years, solid. <laughs> so it, it seems that, um, you know, in investing in the, the, the solar resource is the thing that, that's really going to preserve the, the long-term future, not, not so much the oil and gas. I mean, that's, that's a temporary thing. In, in the future, we'll look back, and by future, I'm not talking about super far in the future, I'm talking about towards the end of the century. We will look back on gasoline-powered cars the same way look, we look back on coal, as sort of a quaint anachronism that's in a museum. That's the quote for you, members of the press at the back of the hall.